Whoa, prairie king snake. No, two prairie king snakes. Yes. Awesome. Ian, check it out. Wow. Yeah. What? These are some mellow snakes. Prairie king snakes usually don't bite. So cool on this one. Man, that is massive. I think that's the biggest prairie king snake I've ever seen. That thing, it's got to be over four feet. There are smaller species that are wrapping around each other there. Smaller species of king snake. I was expecting to find the speckled king snake here which is one that I grew up seeing. It's a beautiful black snake with yellow speckles all over it. But these are the prairie king snakes. I grew up around here, but the landscape has actually changed. And now there's a little, little bit more brush and uh, these guys seem to be doing better than the speckles here. Maybe, uh, maybe their prey items are doing a little better. The prairie king snake, Lampropeltus caligaster, is also called the yellow-bellied king snake. So in some parts of its range, it lacks the yellow coloration on the belly. This species is found mostly in the Midwestern United States. Prairie king snakes are easily mistaken for other species of snakes, such as Great Plains rat snakes and young western rat snakes, which share the same habitat and often have very similar markings. Although the prairie king is a fairly docile species, it will vibrate its tail when nervous, like many other snakes, and when in dry leaf litter or dry brush, this may produce a rattling sound reminiscent of a rattlesnake. Awesome, we got a probably a mating pair, of male and female, both under the same rock. One's much smaller than the other. The prairie king snake is so called because its preferred habitat is the prairies and grasslands around here. Look at those colorful prairie king snakes. Check that out. You want to hold one, Ayana? And could I hold one? Yeah, prairie king snakes hardly ever bite, but they are kind of fast, so you don't want to let them down on the ground. Get away. I like king snakes because they eat other snakes, even small rattlesnakes. Remember that king snakes are called the king because they eat other snakes, just like the king cobra eats other snakes or the king brown in Australia. King snakes eat snakes, lizards, all kinds of rodents, birds, salamanders, and more. The prairie king snake, in turn, is eaten by other predators, such as hawks, coyotes, bobcats, raccoons, skunks, foxes, and even other king snakes like the speckled king. Now, like the speckled king snake, the prairie king snake has an immunity to the local venomous snakes like the copperhead and the timber rattlesnake. It's an amazing ability that they've been gifted by God to be able to hunt and eat these venomous snakes. Check this out, this snake is shedding. The scientific name for shedding or molting is ecdysis. When snakes shed, the complete process can take several days to a couple of weeks, depending on the size and health of the snake and environmental factors. Snakes shed their skin for a number of reasons, including growth. Snakes' scaly skin doesn't grow with their bones, muscles, and internal organs, so they molt off the old skin to make room for the new one growing beneath. Parasites. Shedding helps to remove external parasites and bacteria that can be attached or embedded in the skin. Life stages. Young snakes shed often, and adult snakes shed around the times that they are ready to mate, lay eggs, or in some species, give life birth. And to heal. The snake that has an external injury may shed to heal. What amazing predators. Now let's let them go so they can continue to do what the Lord designed them to do.